Hello, this is another video for the Undead puzzle game. I've already recorded another video for this game. Uh, it's in the Simon Tatham Portable Puzzle Collection. But this is uh, another game that maybe has uh, a little bit different strategy, so I decided to record another. Um, I won't explain all the rules. Uh, you can see the other video for that. but. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to look for zeros. Uh, this path has a zero, so I look up and I look to the right and I don't see any monsters. So therefore this uh, must be a vampire because I don't see the reflection. And I turn around and I see one vampire, uh, one monster, and it is this vampire. I see that directly and that's it. So. It checks both ways. Uh, I don't see any other zeros on the board except for these two zeros, which is the trivial case. Um, so I'm going to move along to any other amb unambiguous cases that I can see. And uh, this is a case where I see all the cells, and that's always useful, um, although I see them all directly, and so I don't know if they're vampires or zombies or some combination but um, still I can mark in notes so I'm gonna hit enter and type Z and V for zombie and vampire so all of these are either uh, some combination of zombie and vampire alright um, this is also a case looking to the left here where I see all the cells and Looking to the left, I see one, so it could be either uh, see one directly, it could be either a zombie or a vampire. And now going to this one and looking down and having it be reflected to the right, I see one monster. So it can't be a vampire because you don't see the vampire's reflection. Uh, it can only be a zombie. You see the zombie both directly and reflected. And that brings up a shortcut that you can use. Whenever you have a situation like this where you see all the monsters, well, I'll say when you see all the cells directly and indirectly from both directions, um, you see cells directly and indirectly, then you know that all of those cells must be zombies. So that's a, a mental shortcut that you can make. And that mental shortcut will come in handy right here, where again we have a case where we see this directly and then we turn around and we see it indirectly as well so therefore this must be a zombie all right well those are easy ones that jump out are there any other easy ones uh, if I look down here for this four uh, it's one two three four five okay so I see five out of the four monsters in that path uh, that's not obvious. There's a little bit of ambiguity there. Um, let's see if there's another path that has uh, less ambiguity. Let's try this one looking to the left. I only see one monster looking to the left, and guess what? It's got to be this one. So whether this is a vampire or a zombie looking to the left, I will see it. So therefore, I've seen my one monster already in this path, so I can't see any more monsters in this path. So I can't see this. And it's reflected, so it's a vampire. I can't see the vampire's reflection. All right, now let's turn right around and examine the path the reverse way. I see only, I see one monster looking the reverse path. I'm looking up, and then it's reflected to the right, and then reflected up and reflected here. So this is the only monster I see in the path looking the reverse way. And if I see its reflection, it can't be a vampire. It must be a zombie. So uh, we've got that one figured out. And let's see if there's anything else. Um, since we filled this one in, Let's see if that makes this path any clearer. Um, I see two monsters on this path, and I see this one, uh, but I don't know about these yet. 
So maybe this is a good time to take a step back and to check our totals at the top. I need to find two uh, two ghosts, and those ghosts have to be somewhere in here. Um, I need to find three vampires, um, and four, I found two of the three, so I need to find one more vampire. I need to find one more zombie to get to my four. So for these four, two of them have to be ghosts, and one of them, uh, has to be a vampire, one of them has to be a zombie. So I'll see if I can use that knowledge somehow. Um, let's try this. So going up, let's see if I can re-examine this path with that knowledge in hand. Um, I see only one out of the remaining three items in the path. Well, how can that even be possible? Um, let's say I see this one and I don't see this one. Is that even possible? The only way that could happen is if these were both vampires and there's only one more vampire to be found. So that's actually not possible. Um, so therefore, I think only one of these I'm going to see and one of these I'm not going to see and then I can't see this. So I think this is going to be a ghost, and then one of these is going to be a zombie, and then one of these is going to be a vampire. Yeah, so then that'll, so one of these is going to be my third vampire of the game, and one of these is going to be my fourth zombie of the game. Well, if that is all true, and let's, let's just turn around the path just to make sure that it's sensible. Um, no obvious blatant errors. If I look to the left, I should see three. And for these two, I'm going to see them both looking to the left. I see them directly. So this is one, two, and I see this reflection. That's three, and this is a skip. So yeah, that is that checks out. Um, but I still need a second ghost. So by process of elimination, if that second ghost I don't think can go here, um, then it has to go here. Yeah, I guess in theory, a ghost could have gone here uh, instead of a zombie. I guess that in theory could have been possible, but I think it would have broken once I... So, so sorry, I, had a, I think I had a logical flaw the first time around, but I think if I would have then turned around and gone this way, I would have said one, don't know, two, skip. So I think I would have come back here and said, oh no, I actually have to see this going to the left. So uh, I apologize for that logical flaw the first time around. And <laughs> by the way, that raises the issue that this game really does typically penalize your logical flaws. <laughs> so you, your logic does have to be flawless. Um, all right, so I think that this needs to be a ghost by process of elimination if my second ghost can't go here. Well, now at this point, I should be able to look at this path and this path. I should be able to find something interesting. So let's count them. I should see four out of, I think it was five cells in this path looking downward. So I see this one, uh, the zombie, and going downward. I see that that's one, and this is skip. I don't see that directly. That's two, I see its reflection. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to see this because I have to see all of the remaining five because my one skip was here. So this is one, skip, two. This is gonna have to be a zombie to see it reflected. Three, four, I see the the zombies uh, the ghost's reflection. Well, let's try it the other way around to see if it still works. Uh, looking to the right here, I do not see the ghost directly, but I should see all the rest of them. So that's uh, this is a skip, and this is one, two, three, four. 
All right, the math checks. And that means that I've found my fourth zombie. And I still need to find my third vampire. And it must be this one by process of elimination. All right, well, hopefully that revealed some uh, slightly different strategy for playing this game. And hopefully that was useful and interesting.